humans, I'm Yo Shiller. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the previous part, I threw out my voice, and by the time the video ended, I really had to lie down and rest and drink plenty of fluid so that I could be able to commentate again. In this video, I intend to commentate again. But moreover, I am still a little tired. Sorry if my throat doesn't make it to the end of this video. And you might be wondering, Yo Shiller, why don't you just rest? You don't have to record Tears of the Kingdom all the time. But oh, I am something of a workaholic. I like to remain on that grind, and I'm trying to stride the line between getting plenty of rest and getting plenty of work done. You know how it is. And now with the rain kicking in, let me tell you what I actually intend to do in this video besides just commentate all the time. In the previous parts, I knocked out a fair share of shrines and a fair share of light roots. And in this part, I intend to do much of the same. I'm gonna go over to these markers that I set over in the depths. These are each going to be light roots. I'll go ahead and get them all, probably starting with the red one, and then we'll do the yellow one, and then see if I can make my way down to the green one. And then I'll start traversing over to the eastern portion of Hyrule, find the light roots over here, and if there's a light root that corresponds with a shrine that I haven't done yet, then I'll go ahead and do said shrine. But for now, let's head back over to here. This is where I left off. Yep, my last location, the No Joge light root, or Najaj, 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 however you pronounce it, this light root is the one to which I intend to warp. So I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna traverse northwest and get my 90th light root. That'll be awesome. You know, there's there's probably more than 100 light roots, right? I, I feel pretty confident saying that. There's probably 120. And with that in mind, that should mean that I am about to be three quarters of the way done with all the light roots in the game. Isn't that crazy? We are almost done. That I'll be done with, like, if there's 120, let's say. I, I feel pretty confident in saying it's 120. I don't know, I thought there were only gonna be 120 shrines at one point, and that was, that turned out to be wrong. But if there are 120 light roots, and that means there's 30, there's about to be 30 left. If I do even just three per video, I'll be done with all the light roots in 10 parts. I could line this up perfectly and have the last light root and the last shrine or whatever be in part 100 of this walkthrough. Now, I don't have to go this way. Why am I so intrigued on smashing open all of these rocks? I don't really know. I can get some extra zonite. I don't necessarily need an abundance of zonite right now, but I mean, I could be getting it. I guess I could just go ahead and smash through this just to see how far it goes. Oh, does it just end here? Well, that's that's something of an anticlimactic conclusion, wouldn't you say? All right, well then, whatever. Let's just go ahead and make my way toward the red mark. Let's get out of here. No more zonite is necessary at the moment. All right, here we go. And we're gonna head this way. Let's see, do I see a light route from here? I thought I saw something. Is it that? No, but that looks like a Giga Clan hideout. So I mean, I could probably go and get that real quickly. Oh, hang on, but first, we are at the Krenel Canyon Mine, and there does appear to be a treasure chest over here. That in and of itself is intriguing. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it open from the behind. What's inside this treasure chest? Why, it is Trousers of the Sky. This will go along with the Skyward Sword Link Amiibo outfit. Do I already have this Trousers of the Sky? I've lost track as to which Amiibo outfits I do and don't have. Okay, I do already have it, but if you didn't have Amiibo, this is how you would access it. Great, so if you wanted to know how the whole Sky outfit would look, it looks like this. It's not too contrasting from the other Link outfits in other Legend of Zelda games. The main thing that would set it apart would be the art style within the game, which is cell shaded but Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild are already cell shaded so you wouldn't notice much of a difference. And also, Link is right-handed in Skyward Sword, which is the first mainline game in which he is right-handed. Yes, I know he's right-handed in the Wii version of Twilight Princess, but apparently the Kanago version is the GameCube version, but Link is right-handed in this game as well. So all this to say, it looks nice, but there are other outfits, like, you know, if I put the fierce Didi armor on, like, obviously that looks a lot more different, right? Even so, I don't intend to have this armor on either. I will instead be putting on my depth exploration kit, so to speak. And that entails putting on this and this, and I'm gonna need some pants. So I may as well put on this one because it has two stars of defense on it. Yes, very silly looking, but it'll keep me well protected. It'll give me a faint glow as I explore darker parts of the depths, and it will allow me to take a little bit of gloom damage. All right, now did I say I wanted to go ahead and get that Yiga hideout? I guess I suppose I said I did, because at least in conquering it, I can go ahead and get a Yiga schematic, which I can use to create more devices using the auto build ability. And I'll tell you what, those things that the Yiga clan are building down here, definitely useful. Getting up here is a little obnoxious though. You know what I could do? Speaking of auto build, 
I've got a nice little building site right here that I can use to construct some sort of device that will allow me to navigate and arrive at the Yiga base more quickly. Yes, yes. All right, so let's go to auto build. And then, I mean, historically, I've been using my good old hot air balloon. I'd like to just go ahead and use that if possible. All right, and that's what I'm making. So the fans are already here. Everything else I kind of had to use myself, but that's okay. So boom, we'll move this over here. We'll use this to reach higher ground in a much more expedited fashion. Oh yeah, and I can switch back over to my Master Sword now, can't I? Yes, I absolutely can. Let's go for a glide! All right, Yiga Clan hideout, I'm a coming. Oh, I'm using up a lot of that Zonai charge though, so hang on a moment. Let's go back to the materials, and let's get one of these going, please. Here we go. I don't crash into all the plants first. All right, so the blue marker is the Yiga Clan hideout. I'm trying to turn this. I'm having a hard time turning. Yep, I'm just like, I just, I have to crash into everything. It's just, it's part of the Yoshiller tradition, apparently. Okay. All right, come on. Up, 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 up. But if I take like a really big turn and I go to the left, then I can get up here a little more easily. I'm not opposed to using another large Zonai charge if I need to. You know, if I have to do it, then it's what I shall do here. All right, let's get another one of those going. All right, as long as I can get to a high enough point to where I can then like jump off. I mean, I could jump off from here. Here you go. Kind of a waste of a zone. Oh my god, really? Absolutely a waste of a zone I charge. What the frick? All right, well, I'm up here now. I'm supposed to ignite all of this with flames. I got some fire fruits. Hang on, so that's my bow. I need this. Get all this out of here. Making me waste my auto build, making me waste my zone I charges. I guess it was a good thing that I got that extra zone at the beginning of the video so that I could more effectively utilize my auto build. But still, darn it, climbing up this is something of a nightmare. Okay, here, I'm trying to, oh my God. I wanna be able to shoot those thorns, but this game can't make it that easy now, can it? Still, easy enough. As long as I get at least one set of thorns, I ought to be good to go. Yes, and now the rest of them shall ignite. And then I guess if I wanted to climb this more easily, I could have just ascended through this, huh? Is that what they wanted me to do? Is that what I was supposed to do? Cause doggone it, that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. I, just, I still like this faint glow around me. That's still pretty fun. I'm gonna go ahead and burn all these thorns too, okay? But now, while those thorns create a nice glowing ember beside me, I shall continue to climb along this wall. There we go. Okay, and then I can ascend through that hopefully, right? Or is this gonna like take me off? Nope, I can ascend through that. There we go, we're going. We're going. All right, and there, I, I can even like ascend through this part. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do because I'm supposed to look out here and then see if I can use, let's see, do I still have some eyeballs? I got a couple of keys eyeballs. I can do this to lock onto you and eliminate you. Boom, done. All right, so that's the one. Cool. Let's see, but we must keep going further. And here, red choo-choo jelly, why the heck not? Boom, okay. And then I can just climb this part. I've got enough stamina just to get through here. Get rid of those thorns, put my bow away. I guess I can just start climbing, huh? Here we go, boom. We're just jumping. We are now jump man. All right, Link also makes a good case for being a jump man. Okay, there we go, up top, up top, there we go. Yes, yes. I imagine what I'm actually supposed to do is I'm supposed to take one of these little bird platforms with the fans on it and glide around and see if I can shoot the guys. But I can just once again go ahead and get myself a key eyeball, do this, and I think I can get you from here. Boom, baby, got him. And was that it? That was the only other Yiga person? Two guards flying around to defend this whole ordeal. I mean, I imagine you don't need much defense here because climbing up to here in the first place was already obnoxious with all those thorns covering the mountainside, but whatever. Let's see what this says. All right, the abandoned mines are productive. We found not only crystallized charges, but also stone figures called constructs. Most have fallen apart, but some appear largely intact. Master Koga is excited by their potential. He says if we can get them to work, we'll be closer to a spectacular new power. He sends a re re reconnaissance team to a location in South Hyrule Field called the Great Abandoned Central Mine. Oh, I did all that already. If Master Koga's predictions are correct, the day we achieve our ultimate goal may be close at hand. Glory to Master Koga. I did all that already. I suppose if you were coming from this direction and you hadn't visited the Great Abandoned Mines just yet, you wouldn't know that Master Koga was over there. But since I did all that, that's just a little bit of extra insight to direct player over to the proper direction. But what I really want over here, I want these. I want this, which I think will be the schematic, and the left one is the crystallized charge. Yes, there we go. All right, so what schematic is inside of here, hmm? Instant kitchen! Instant kitchen? 
That little thing that I saw on the side of this mountain was an instant kitchen. All right. Cool, I guess. I don't foresee myself using this one that often, but that is pretty amusing. And sure, I'll take the crystallized charges. At least that's a currency down here in the depths. There we go. Boom, oh, baby. All right. And now that I'm on higher ground, hopefully navigating over to what mark would it be? The red mark will be slightly easier. Like, I, I can glide from here, right? I could probably use one of those bird platforms and glide higher from here, but nah, we'll be fine. All right, see, I can even see the light route from here. I don't need that bird platform. I can use my own wits, my own stamina, my own glider to get over here safely and soundly. Kind of a shame that that hot air balloon that I used earlier turned out to be such a dud, but thankfully with the power of Tulin's aerial boost and my exponentially large stamina wheel with a nice little bonus stamina of a yellow wheel on the side, I can absolutely make it over to this little light route. And I'll tell you that faint glow, it's nice. I do obviously wish I had a much larger glow, but that faint glow at all gives me a little hope in these dark times here within the depths. But alas, the darkness shall soon be dispelled, for I am now at the Z-Near, Z-Ner light route. Let's get it! And there we are. This light route is filled in, but it creates something of a problem as to how I'm gonna access the next light route. This is not what I thought was gonna happen. I was not entirely certain that this was gonna be blocked off. Hmm. All right, hang on then. So, is there a chasm entrance over there or something? That, that can't be right. Let me see. This is not a problem that I foresaw. Is it possible then that I would have to drop in through this chasm and make my way to the right? That's the only other way. That's weird, okay, okay, hang on. First, let me go ahead and get rid of this marker. That's no longer necessary. Next, I guess I can focus on getting the green marker. I was a little hesitant to go over to this area of the map because I was afraid that it was gonna progress onward with the plot. But I guess there is going to be a light route over there, no matter what, right? It's gonna align with this shrine. So, that would be the only way that I could even get this light route. So hopefully I can then access this light route without triggering a main story element. It's worth a shot. Am I returning to Hyrule Castle in this video? I guess so. Okay, so in that case, let's head over here real briefly. I'll head to the east first so I can get that green marker for, the, for that light route. And then I'll go back and I'll head north and see, no, no, I should not enter Hyrule Castle from this way. I should enter Hyrule Castle from the chasm above, right? Uh, I, I guess so, because at least coming in from the chasm, if I start to see story-related elements, I can just warp away. Plus, I'll need to visit the chasm anyway in order to get 100% completion on the map. All right, I'll return to Hyrule Castle and enter the depths from the chasm rather than going through that little trail there. And I, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to enter that little trail for what will be one of the final story elements of this game. I, I was just thinking that was gonna be the final light route. I suppose it, it still could be. I don't have to get that light route right now, but. I was already planning on getting the light roots here in Central Hyrule now-ish. This is kind of throwing me in for a loop. And I guess it wouldn't be a Yoshiller video without something getting slightly derailed, right? But my plans getting all around derailed? Why, that's messing me up. All right, that that is not something I planned for at all. Okay, Zonites, yes, lots and lots of Zonite. Just going along this way, ooh, and a large Zonite. Don't mind if I do. All right, here, climbing over this so I can step out of the gloom for a second so I can then glide over so that I can then traverse across the ground a little more quickly because gliding is faster than running. And I guess that's gonna be the light route over there. All right, I get the feeling that once I fill in this light route, it's not gonna fill in very much of the map. It's only gonna fill in that little circle that was blocked off earlier. But still, at least it would tell me that a shrine is over here, right? That if I didn't already conquer the shrine that was over here, it'd be a good indication that I'm in the right spot. Oh man, I can barely even see this light route with the wall blocking it, but here we go. I know it's here, I'm ready. By filling in other parts of the depths map, I was very easily able 
to indicate that there was a circle here for a perfect spot of a light root. And this light root is none, of the, none other than the Oyeme light root. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Let's get it. All right, yeah, it didn't fill in that much of the map, but I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't, huh? Even so, it's another light route conquered, so it's one I don't have to worry about anymore. Now, let's see. I said I would go on up and above, right? Because the other option is to go through all of this, and I'm not entirely certain I want to do that. Whatever's here in this center is pretty plot heavy. I'm hoping I can just get the light route and then go along whatever path is over here, just get this light route and then leave. Or, you know, go to this Coliseum or something. I don't, I don't want to deal with, with plot stuff right now. So I guess then let's, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, I'm ruining the suspense here. I guess let's warp back over to this shrine. Would there be, no, 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 there wouldn't be another shrine over here. I don't think maybe one in the sky. No, there's nothing else over here. Oh yeah. I still have, I still have this here. That's a good reminder to go ahead and get <laughs> rid of that. Huh? Okay. So, all right. And then there's nothing else over here. How do you even get over here? Can you not? There's gotta be some way you can get over here. There's, there's a thing here. Maybe that's what I'm about to find out. Maybe there is a way for me to get over here, but I'm not seeing chasm entrances anywhere on the map. Nothing immediately apparent. This is connected though. Maybe there is something, no. No, I was over here. That's where there was a Korok seed. I wandered all over here in the previous part and found a whole lot of nothing. And this is otherwise disconnected. So maybe there is nothing over, I don't know. Feels weird that this would even be here then. But maybe it is nothing. But there is some way for me to get over here, right? There's not a chasm entrance over here anywhere. I even explored the caves over here and found nothing. So it's, it's gotta be this then. I guess we'll find out. If I fill this in and this turns out to be disconnected, then there's gonna have to be some other way. There's gonna have to be something here in the depths that I don't quite understand. But for now, let's work back over to the shrine that's near Hyrule Castle. Let's go inside this chasm entrance. And as soon as anything plot related starts to develop, I'm warping the heck out of here. This is a shrine and light route exploration part, darn it. I'm, I'm saving all the related plot stuff for later on in the walkthrough. There will be plenty of time for that. I just, I wanna fill in more of the map, doggone it. All right, so back to the castle. I should be able to navigate the castle fairly well. I mean, I don't know. It's gonna get all dark and gloomy in a second. Okay, so the chasm entrance, let's see. It should be, oh, right. I forgot this is how it worked. Uh, where's the chasm entrance then? Cause I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if I want this map anymore. Okay, well, it's not gonna be at the top. It's gonna be at the bottom somewhere. Uh, I'm on this floor. Hmm. My first guess would be to go down by the docks. And if it is by the docks, it should be around the back here. Let's see. Oh yeah, the horror blends. I guess if I ever needed to fight more of you, this is the place to go to, right? But I do have my master sword here. Do I get like a power boost being over here? I don't know, probably not. Maybe when I'm inside the castle. Okay, maybe fighting all of you right now is not a great idea, but at least farming the horror blend now will make it, make me, ha give me one last task, task that I'll have to do later. Darn, I can't even talk, I'm just trying to survive. All right, all right, I won't fight all of you now. I fought the one, but if I need easy access to a horror blend, I'll go down that hallway again in the future. All right, otherwise, I'm back at Hyrule Castle. You know, th this place is somewhat burned into my mind, even though I was only here for like two parts back in Breath of the Wild and was only here for one part in this walkthrough. But I like to think that I understand its landscape at least decently well. All right, you know what? I will fight you too. I'll go ahead and get nice ice choo-choo Ice like like rock. Oh my god. I was gonna say ice choo choo jelly. That's the wrong enemy. You got a good shot on me though. I'll give you that. Okay, here, right here. Boom. Oh, I only got the one hit. Once more. I got plenty of fire fruits. You can always buy more if I need more of those. Here you go. Let's wail on you. Boom. Thank you. Go ahead. Go on and farming all the enemies here. Oh, I got some arrows. Did I get my stone? No, I need that stone. All right. 
You know, maybe by the end of this part, I'll actually go ahead and upgrade my armor too. Royal shield, okay. What's a shield that I do not need? Probably the forest dweller shield, but I get the feeling it's kind of rare. I'll go ahead and drop my current shield. I know it seems dumb, but I have been using it for shield surfing, so it is slightly less durable than it was earlier. There we go, we got another royal shield, great. I guess I could have dropped the other royal shield, but whatever. All right, otherwise I'm just kind of navigating my way through here. I don't know the exact path. I forget what is and is not accessible to me. I can take that bow, that, that's good, I'll take that. Don't need the claymore. Okay, we're just gonna keep wandering around the side and if I have to climb back up, I do have the option to always warp back around or climb these waterfalls. In fact, climbing the waterfall is probably not a terrible idea. Just trying to find the chasm entrance. Okay, if I'm gonna climb the waterfall, I need to have my Zora armor on. So let's go up top real quickly. There you go, combining my abilities, Tulin's aerial mobility and the Zora armor's swimming powers. Okay, let's go inside here. I don't think I'm gonna trigger like a mini boss fight or anything by going in here, am I? Second gatehouse. Okay, a shield. Royal guard, sh royal guard shield. No, not much is accomplished by going in here. Can I send out of here? Too high. How about here? Still too high? Really? This, is, this can't all be too high. Come on, there's gotta be something. That's perfect. Let's go on up through here. I might have already explored this part. I, I kind of already forgot what I did and didn't explore here in Tears of the Kingdom. But I found the shrine over here and my shrine radar is not going on. Oh, there's a Korok seed over here though. Well, don't mind if I do get that real quickly. At least this will mark on the map that I explored this part of the castle. So here we go. Heading up then. Got plenty of stamina, not even worried. I just like hit this with my sword. Do I have to use an arrow? No, I can use my sword. I was probably supposed to use my arrow, but I went ahead and used my sword. So boom, one extra Korok seed. Yeah, I imagine that there are a bunch of Koroks hiding around here, but getting all those right now, it's not my top priority. Getting a Lizalfos real quickly? Sure, why not? There we go, is that immediate elimination? Great, taking those. I got five arrows for killing you with one. That's awesome, oh, okay. I have to, I have to hit you in the face. You are a jumpy fellow. Okay, you know, I'll just whack you, I'll just whack you. I'm not wasting all my arrows on you, okay? Boom, blue Lizalfos horn, great. Hmm. But I said I was going to the docks. The docks would be in the back side of the castle. So, hang on, are there more arrows over here? What is this? Oh, another bow. Hmm, can't carry any more bows. Are we sure about that? Because I think I'm gonna wanna drop that. Get the strength in Lizal bow, very good. All right, drop down here then? I suppose so. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, hang on, is that another Korok seed immediately? This looks like it could be a Korok seed. Or maybe not, just a little bird here. Little birdie. Do I have your picture? Wait. I do. Okay, cool. All right. So let's see. I got to take this rock and complete the triangle, yeah? All right, well, I'll get two Korok seeds back to back. Why the heck not? There we go. Boom, baby. Thank you. All right. Did not expect to get even one Korok seed in this video, but awesome. This is all excellent. All very good. But it does not get me closer toward finding the chasm entrance here. That's mainly why I'm here. I know there is one. Maybe it is just smack dab in the center here. Okay. I could always set a travel medallion here and just come back here if my idea of like jumping straight through here is wrong, right? So let's jump through the middle real quickly. Do I want to do this or is this going to set off some main story elements? Guess I'll give it a try. All right. Through the middle then. Is it going to say discovery? This thing? Let's find out. Discovery! Hyrule Castle Chasm. Oh. Okay, do not load a story beat though. Don't you friggin' dare. All right, hang on. So there is a light route here. That is the light route that I want. Okay, so I guess it is just a regular old chasm down here. Hmm. As long as it doesn't trigger a story beat, I guess we're fine. This is a nice looking chasm too. Like you can definitely feel the, the presence of something omnipotent down here, something massive. Lots of pose over here too. Okay, well I guess I can grab the pose real quickly. There you go, lots and lots of pose. I guess I could return to Lookout Landing and see if I can cash in more of these pose. If nothing else, I can use them to buy like bomb arrows or something, right? I'll go ahead and mash A, collect all of those. All those pose. Okay. And then we can fill in this light route and see if it reveals, that's a long name, Kamo Baturis light route. And we can see if it reveals how to get to that other light route over to the east. Let's find out.
It is isolated. So how would I get that? Also, this area of the map within the depth itself is already pretty bright. So filling in this light route purely serves to fill in this part of the map. And I guess to serve as a future warp point, I suppose. All right, I'm not gonna go any further down from here. I don't feel like that's beneficial to me. But how would I get this then? This doesn't make any sense. This is completely isolated from everything else. So is this little island. And everything up to now has demonstrated that if I need to get somewhere like this one, there's always a path that connects it. So how would I then go about getting here? I can't like glide over here, can I? I would have to drop in through a chasm entrance, but there's nothing up here that indicates that there's a chasm anywhere. I was just here. I was here multiple times. Although I guess I like never really got the bridges now, did I? Okay, it's time to do some investigation. Let's go ahead and return to this shrine. And then let's see if there's anything around here that looks like a chasm entrance. Cause there could be something small, I guess. Cause there was a small little something something over in Rito Village, right? Does that show up on the map at all? It doesn't. Oh, yes it does. Rito Village Cat. Okay, well even that showed up on the map, but it's not a big glaring spot. So maybe there's something underneath one of the bridges that will help me get down to here. So I'm gonna work back over to this shrine and see what I can find. Either way, I'm glad that I got this light route that was like directly in the center of Hyrule. I was afraid that was gonna be my last one, but my curiosity on how to get this light route over to the right proved that I can safely get that light route in the middle. Okay, I'm, I have no doubt that there are more plot, I can't speak. I have no doubt that there are more plot related elements over in that part of the map, but that's for way later. Let's fill in the rest of this here map first. Okay, so I'm back at this shrine, which I did in the previous part. I'm on the lookout for more chasms, I suppose. Because there's got to be something over here. There's nothing else over here. And it would be detached from Hyrule Castle then. Because the depth map makes it very clear that there's not any sort of walking path over here. So, I can go over here. Maybe there's a Korok seed over here. I guess that is the plus side of visiting Hyrule Castle, is that I got some Korok seeds along the way. Alright. So here we are. We're at the Helmhead Bridge. Great. Is there anything under the bridge? I feel like there should be. I feel like there would be, but there is not. Okay, I can go over to this bridge. Go over to that way real quickly. Just walk on over. In fact, is, is my horse within range to hear me whistle? There are these horses, but those aren't mine. <whistles> Nothing? Nope, that just makes those horses run off. Okay. Well, whatever. Where is my horse? My horse is all the way down there, so never mind of that. But I do have to get over to this bridge to get completion on the Hyrule surface map, so I'll just go over there on foot. Yes, it would be faster if I had my horse, but by the time I go and get my horse and get back over here, it's just gonna waste even more time. So we're going for a little bit of a nighttime stroll. Yep, just gonna say hello to the other residents here. Hello, fellow nighttime enthusiasts. Do you like to go on nighttime strolls as well, especially at 11.20 p.m.? Sometimes it is nice to, lock, to just, you know, walk along the nighttime sky and have the faint glow of the moon cast the lights before you. A nice nighttime walk truly is nice. All right, enough redundant sentences. Let's go ahead and turn this walk into a nice brisk jog to go ahead and speed up this process. I'm sticking to the path for now, but if there is a chasm entrance over to the left, I guess I'll just have to find it later. Oh, perhaps you could provide some insight. Must hurry. Yeah, where are you hurrying to? Ah, oh, Link, we meet again. Have you found any clues as to where Princess Zelda might be? I haven't been focusing on that. I've been busy doing shrines and light routes. Lady Impa believes she has found a source of information that might help in the search for Princess Zelda. I'd suggest you go meet with Lady Impa. She should be at the New Seren Stable in North Hyrule Plain. I'm trying to reach her myself, but I'm sorry to say that I'm bad with directions. I haven't gotten there yet. I hope to get there soon, though, so forgive me if I excuse myself. Oh, it looks like I might have accidentally done some plot stuff, but okay, Lady Impa's at New Seren Stable. I'll have to remember that for like six, seven parts from now when I actually am doing plot-related stuff again. Hang on, is this here a uh, Moblin? Do I have a picture of this one? Silver Moblin, cool. I'm gonna grab these, and then I'm gonna go ahead and light you on fire. Sorry, not sorry. Boop. There we go. All right, and now, hopefully I got something else that I can use beside the Master Sword. Looks like it's just gonna be the Master Sword then. All right, well then I got it. There you go, boom, 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 boom. Just eliminating you so I don't have to worry about it later. Boom, 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 boom. Taking out multiple enemies at the same time. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go, boom, 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 boom. 
There you go, that's a big old sword you got there. Is it just bigger because you're the one holding it? I feel like it is. All right, I shall eliminate you with my roasted bass spear. Here you go, get roasted, ooh, nice. You know, too bad you're only silver and not gold. Oh, and I got the flurry rush? Been a little while since I've gotten one of those, huh? There you go, that certainly helps. Man, this dude is getting bass the heck out of him. Okay. Okay, I didn't get the flurry rush that time, but as long as I'm not taking damage and as long as I'm willing on him, then I ought to be fine. There you go, eliminated. You know what though, I don't really need this anymore. This roasted bass stuff, that's fun and all. And I definitely want to pick up the moblin parts. But I don't think I need this. Goodbye. I'll take the royal claymore though. That's the good stuff. Okay, bacoblin horn. Yes, yes, yes. Bacoblin horn. Okay, cool. Again, quick little detour. But it doesn't get me closer to my overall objective, which is figuring out how to access that part of the depths and get the light route. It's definitely stumping me. I feel like if there is going to be a chasm entrance, it's going to be under a bridge or something, right? Kind of like it was back in Retail Village. Hmm. Gotta get this bridge anyway. Let's go ahead and swim underneath it for a brief moment. Okay, it doesn't count as me filling it in for my map though, so I guess I do have to walk along the top of it. So alright, I'll go ahead and do that real quickly. Alright, here. I'm at the map now, okay? Boneyard Bridge. Great. Now that that's done, do I see any sort of glow that looks like it's for a chasm? No. There's a sign here though, does the sign provide any insight? Let's see, Hudson, or, okay, yeah, Hudson construction stuff, okay. So, anything with this? There's a nice little fire here. I guess I can just eliminate you real quickly. You're a silver bacoblin. Oh, I should have, like, fused some stuff. It's okay, I got a rusty claymore spear. We'll use that real quickly. That gives me some distance. There you go. No, no, okay, let's elim eliminate you so I can just focus on the silver guy all by himself. Okay, nope. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I don't need you attacking me while I'm trying to attack the stronger enemy beside you. Thank you, though. I'll get plenty of bacoblin parts, though. I need more bacoblin parts to upgrade my armor, so this will all be good. All right, so that's done. Great, boom, boom, boom. All right, and now there, oh, you got some fire. You got fire on you, huh? You got fire on you and in you. I respect that, but not enough to keep you alive. All right, so now I got this. I got my Soldier 2 Reaper. That'll give me at least a little more attack power. Now I can just wail on you. If I can de-arm you in any way, that'd be preferable, but I don't want to hit you too far away from here. I'd like to keep you around where I located you. I don't want you to set fire to all of this stuff now. Boom, boom, boom. But, oh, whoa, I did a lot. Was that like, what, what exactly like caused that? Because it looks like you got hit and I got hit on the same frame. That was silly. All right, Mighty Zonite Sword. Here we go, boom, boom, boom. Okay, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Just keep wailing on him, de-arm him, there you go. All right, and then when I defeat you, I'll get more silver bacoblin parts, which I can then use to equip some of the weapons that I already have so I can deal extra damage to future enemies and foes. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, and there we go, all done. All right, so I'll take these, thank you, and I'll use this opportunity to get out my, Every, everything is just two-handed weapons, huh? I mean, I guess I have the sturdy wooden stick, which I can then use to attach. We'll go by fuse attack power. One of these, hold that there, and then we do the fusing. Boom. All right, now I got some power to play with. Okay, and I don't really need the shield. Okay, so otherwise, mm, I guess I can go ahead and take this rock weapon as well. That'll be useful in the future. It could be, in fact, it could even be useful now. I could use a rock weapon to smash these open and hopefully get some arrows. Yes, yes, lots and lots of arrows. Good, good, good. This one's badly damaged. I may as well chuck it now then. Goodbye. Cool. Okay, so now that that's done, I am still no closer to figuring out how to access this area here in the depths. And I don't think warping over to here is gonna help me. I can, I can remove that after I figure all this out. Hmm. I have no idea. I, I guess it could be on the eastern side. No, it would have to be, okay. I, I'm gonna like walk, no, hang on, hang on. You need this map back open. I'm gonna walk along like every single part here until I find some sort of chasm entrance, darn it. Cause it's gotta be something. It's not gonna be over on that little island here. It's gotta be on this one, somehow, some way. Cause the depth map clearly indicates that it's separate from everything else. And this is the only light route over here that I haven't gotten. So it's not like there's some part of the map that I haven't filled in yet. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, another quick little Koroxy challenge. Why not? This might just provide insight as to how I'm supposed to access things anyway. Here, we grab that apple real quick. All right, where are you going? Where are you going, okay? Maybe you'll tell me how to access the chasm that I need. Plus, you'll get me two extra Korok seeds. 
All right, just to the other side of the water. That's not so bad. All right, is this an enemy over here, by the way? Do I need to eliminate the enemy first? Let's eliminate the enemies, and then I can get you where you need to go. Thought I saw something over here, no? Okay, never mind then. So you just need a little boat? I can make a boat. I've been making boats since like part 20 of this walkthrough. Not well, but I've been making them. Here, maybe a boat is what I need. Maybe I do need to like look along the water or something, but first, I'm gonna get this. There you go. There you go. Like, like this, boom, boom. Just a nice little Koroxy challenge, because at least this way I'm still making some progress. All right, maybe I do need a little platform on the back. And then I need, I'm gonna need the sail. And actually, I do have gust, I have wind providing tools as well, now that I defeated that Queen Gibdo in the previous part, so. Yeah, this will be nice. All right. I got myself a, a mass, right? This is facing the correct direction. I always get these backwards. Here you go. All right. And now, we're gonna attach you to all of this. All right, so you're coming with me, whether you like it or not, but I get the feeling you're gonna like it, because this way you can actually line up with your friend. I could also use a steering stick, couldn't I? But now let's just use the tools that have been given to me. Okay, and then we'll go over here. All right, boom, set this over here. Okay, and now we're gonna switch over to a wind providing weapon, which in my case will be this Queen Gibdo Guster. And I think this will give me, yeah, there we go. Oh my God, that was a little too strong. Wait, oh my God, that's too strong. Come back, come here, that was too much. As long as I can get you on this side of the water, you're fine. There you go. All right. You know, but if you want to stay attached to that, be my guest. I was not aware that that was going to do so much damage that it was going to destroy my boat, but whatever. The important thing is that I'm going to get you over to your little friend here, and I'm going to get two Koroxies, and then I never have to worry about this little Koroxie challenge ever again. All right? So there you go. Thank you for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Hooray, more Koroxies. Awesome. All right, I might have only done two light routes in this video and no shrines so far, but hey, I am knocking out the Korok seeds. Awesome. Even though I intend to have a part designated to all of that in the future, but whatever. All right, so where's my boat going, huh? Maybe I should, you know what? Maybe this isn't such a bad idea. Maybe I should go along the water here and see if I can find a Kaz entrance from this perspective. Maybe, maybe it's not on this island. I don't know, but then how else would I access it? It's gotta be over here. You know, is there a Korok seed under this bridge? There is. There absolutely is. I see something over here. All right. What's the deal with this? There you go. Hang on. I got this one. I got, I got this, all right? Boop. There you go. Just knocking out the Korok seeds. I'm getting them all, all right? Getting all those Korok seeds. Well, walking over here was definitely worth it. I'm glad I could get this Korok seed as well, but as I've been saying... Oh, it's nice and bright now. But as I've been saying, I'm no step closer toward actually getting what I need. So let's let's glide along to this side. Maybe there's an entrance over here, closer to Hyrule Castle. I feel like Hyrule Castle might provide a clue, but it's gotta, it's gotta be on this somewhere, right? Not seeing, okay, like I could glide over to Hyrule Castle and then look backwards in this direction. That might be what I have to do. I'm, I'm about where I started. I've almost gone full circle. Why is this here? Why is this here? There's a lot of wooden planks here. Did you want me to make a boat? Because I mean, I can. I just made one. Got a couple of Korok seeds out of it. Which, by the way, I should switch my weapons back over to something else, huh? So maybe just like... Hmm. I need more one-handed weapons. Okay. Here, let's go back to my materials. Let's sort by... Fuse attack power. And I guess... I guess I'll get more Gleok stuff in the future, right? So I can now... Do some fusing. Boom. All right, now that I've got some attack power, let's see, is there anything alongside this wall? I guess the best way, okay, yeah. Maybe I should glide over here and then look backwards. That might be the best thing to do. Okay, here we go then. Okay, Tulin, I need your assistance. Yes, and now it's getting all dark and gloomy. Yeah, 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 but I got plenty of stamina and I've still got my Zora armor on, so I should be able to swim through this by mashing the X button. And then I should be able to climb this mashing the X button and still be able to reach the top without using up all of my green stamina wheels. I'll just barely make it, but I will make it nonetheless. All right, cool. Do I see anything though? <sighs> no, no I don't. And that's a bummer. Okay, still maybe going along the outside isn't a terrible idea. Mm. 
I don't know. Okay, I don't, you, do you want to do this? Do you want to fight Electric Wizrobe? Because I'm not opposed, especially now that I can go to Terrytown, take your weapon after I eliminate you and get the weapon defused so I can take that Topaz off of you. All right, you want to do this? Here, I'm gonna let you on fire from doing this. Boom, okay, and now, boom, okay. Mm, that didn't work as well as I hoped. Okay, I might have to do a vertical slash. Okay, as long as any of my 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 assistants here can hit him. Nope, I'm missing. I don't want to get hit because that'll de-arm me. Oh, did someone get him? Good hit. Nice. Okay, let's go. Okay, up here. That's messing me up a little bit. Okay. Or at least I can jump off here for a split second and go in slow motion. Here you go. Boom. Got it. Are we done? We are done. Okay, so I'm taking this. Thank you. Right, no lightning. That was just you causing the lightning. Okay, huh? There could be a Korok seed over here. Let's see what this is. So I got some bombs. I don't have to use bombs. I can use you no bow, but this seems cooler if I do it this way. All right, is this another Korok seed? No, it's a treasure chest. All right, well, let's see what we got. It's still valuable all the same. Royal broadsword. Well, hey, that's a one-handed weapon. Gladly switch over to that. Here, boom. And then we'll go back to my materials. And sure, I'll use one more Gleok wing, but otherwise I want to hang on to these. I know I'm going to need a couple of those to upgrade pieces of armor, right? All right, so I haven't done much besides just eliminate a bunch of random enemies. I don't suppose, like, if I look at the map here, I'm back down at the moat. Maybe I can get myself a boat from the moat and sail around and see if I can find anything. Yeah, there's nothing really over there. I've already kind of gone over here. I checked underneath the bridge. I'm just otherwise, like, I'm, I'm completely clueless. Let's head around to the moat. Hmm. Is this the best way to get to them? I guess I can always like warp back over to the shrine or something, right? Or warp back over to my travel medallion or something. <laughs> yeah, this probably wasn't the smartest option to me. I just keep hoping like I'll see something that'll provide the answer. But otherwise, like I really don't know. Like I'm hoping that there's like a cave over here, right? But there's not. There'll be a cave entrance for the moat in a moment. I, I know it's here. I know, I know there's a moat here at least. I don't, I don't know like what else would be over here. Still, I'm swimming. I've got the Zora armor on, so I'll swim more quickly. No, oh, I thought that was going to be the entrance right there. Oh, I guess the entrance would be further around this way. Okay. I guess I don't need a... Well, I do need a boat because the current's pushing me this way. This will make things easier. Okay. So I'll go over here. And then I should be able to just swim into here, right? Have I been down here yet? I don't think that I have. All right, keeping that Zora armor on. I just need to get over to this wall here. Okay, now the current's pushing me this way. Thank you, current. I currently am thankful for you. All right, let's go along this path real quickly. Oh, oh hey, look, another Korok seed. Would you look at that? Boop. All right, I'm supposed to dive in there. I completely fudged that. Let me go up higher and dive into it. All right, well, this has been a great part for Korok seeds. Not a great part for anything else. What if I, I'm pressing R. Oh, because I, I can't do it straight from gliding like that. Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. So if I go up all the way here, all the way over to like here. Oh, wait, no, I don't think I want to be on this side. Okay. And I press R. How about that? That doesn't work. That doesn't, that doesn't work for you? How high up do I need to come from then? Getting this is like proving to be stupidly tricky. You want me to go from here? Is that better for you? Here. There, there we go. Cause you have to dive into the rings. Like, I, I get it, I get it, I got it. Boom, okay, Korok seed obtained, thank you. Don't gotta worry about coming down to the moat anymore for that Korok seed. Hmm. But I guess this doesn't indicate that there is a boat over here. I got the docks, like, yeah, 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 that's nice and all. Frankly, what I should do is I should just set a travel medallion in here. Maybe not, I mean, I can set multiple travel medallions, but. I don't know if a, I don't know how useful one is gonna be down here at this point. Oh, there was a hardy salmon and I didn't press A. I messed up. I messed up, folks. I'm sorry. All right, but I'm down at the docks. Cool. I mean, is it cool? Does this help me in any way, shape, or form? Probably not. Is there a fish here? No. There's a box here. I can smash the boxes open, I guess. Boom, boom. Cool. More arrows. I mean, I'll gladly take those, but coming to the docks. Did not prove to be as useful as I had hoped. Is there something over there? Is that like a treasure chest or something? What's the deal with that? There's that, like, that's kind of the way I came in. Hmm. Let's see here. 
All right, I'm going up. I'm going up here. Oh, there's just a weapon here. This is a traveler's claymore. Sure, there's probably some weapon I no longer need on hand, like this stick. I don't need that. Get that out of here. Traveler's claymore. Cool. Okay. Got that Korok seed. All right, then I guess I'm heading out of here. It was nice to get the Korok seed, but that proved to not be as useful as I had hoped. All right. I guess I'll travel back alongside the east. Yeah, there's like a little area down here that I could walk down here if I was accessing Hyrule Castle normally, but eh, not that useful to me. Currently not useful. Well, darn it, folks, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, but this really is stumping me. But mark my words, mark my words. By the end of this video, I will have that light room. Hey, there's another entrance to the castle right here. I guess I can go in through here real quickly and just get it marked off on my map. Sure, why not? What's this way? Oh yeah, the old minecart ride, the East Passage. I guess I could go through. Actually, I do want to eliminate you so I can get some more key side balls. I've been using those lately. Yeah, those have proven to be very, very useful. Thank you, I'll take those. Okay. Okay, I don't want to do too much more exploration of, of the castle right now. I would like to get a move on. Well, oh, hang on. Something hit you? Cool. All right. I guess I can eliminate you real quickly. Get myself a nice little stone while I'm at it. And, oh, wrong one. I want the fire fruit, please. I can do that real quickly. Boom. All right. I'll go ahead and eliminate you. And sure, I'll see where the mine cart goes real quickly. This is not supposed to be a castle exploration part. I was actually somewhat planning on having a future part dedicated to this, but whatever. Let's move this right along. So in the past, in the past, you would use bombs in Breath of the Wild to move this along. In this game, I just hit, let, oh, can I just use Unobo? Charge? Yeah, how would I move this along in this game? I would need a fan, unless I can use Unobo to charge against it this way and create an explosion that way. Otherwise, I'm not doing this right now. All right, no, hang on, I need Unobo. I need you to go, hey, Unobo? You're the one I thought I needed, buddy. Okay, well, then I guess I'm not doing this right now. But I don't, I, don't, I don't need to be going through here right now anyway, right? Like this is just funsies. This is just another way into the castle. I can always come back and do this another time. What I think I should do is I should just probably ascend if the game will let me, reach a higher plane, and then go back to looking for some sort of chasm entrance. So let's see, I'm over here now, higher up on the ground. That's good, that's good. All right. I think going around and looking at the outer perimeter of this island is still gonna be a great way to approach this. Because there's, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be. I also wanna take the time to really comment on how well the architecture is designed in this game. Like, I like that I can see the ring of Kakariko Village from here. That's really cool. I like that a lot. But otherwise, I I really like how nice it is that when I climb up these walls, I, <gasps> there's a cave over here! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I just like roared with energy there. All right, hang on. This is my answer. This is exactly what I need. Okay, hang on. The Hyrule Castle Moat East Chasm. This is exactly what I need. Okay, and it's just a chasm, it's not a cave, which means there's no bubble gem, which means I should be able to just dive on down here and get my light roots. I said I was gonna get this light root and darn it, I'm gonna get it. And if I have to slay you first to get it, then so be it. Here you go. You wanna play with fire, buddy? Well, yeah, I'm sure you won't want to after I'm done with you. Okay, I'm supposed to use bombs on you, that's right. Okay, here we go. There you go, open that mouth of yours. Or we can do that, that works too. All right, I didn't think I was immediately gonna engage in combat on the way down. I didn't think I was gonna engage in combat like 30 seconds ago, but this totally works for me. Oh, hang on. I don't know if I wanna be using this. This is not dealing as much damage as I hoped. Okay, well I'll use up the last of this anyway. It's a, it's a claymore. Okay, I should have more boulder related weapons, right? Yeah, like this, here we go. Ugh. There you go. Nope, I'm mashing X. All right, I fought plenty of you in my walkthrough already, and I even fought one of you in the previous part, so I know this whole song and dance by now. Go ahead and give that a nice swallowing. Go ahead and go bang. Go ahead and go bang, there we go. All right, it's on. Let's get it. All right, I can, I can just hold down the Y button. I don't need to be mashing it. Here we go, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this is not doing a whole lot of damage either. Okay, but I will break this open. Boom. Okay, you know what? Maybe I do just need to go for the power of weapons then. So hang on, let me switch over to a different weapon. Yeah, maybe I should be using the Soaring Broadsword. Okay? Yeah? You want a bomb? Go have it. There you go. 
All right, I'm so glad that I'm finally getting a move on with this part, because getting all those Korok seeds is nice and all, but I mean, I'll be doing that at plenty of other more ample opportunities. For now, let's go ahead and eliminate this part on your back. There you go. Okay, I can grab the Zonite later. Okay, you want to fling me into the sky? Because I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm almost halfway done with this fight. Oh, I wanted you to fling me upward. No, oh, okay. All right, all right. Maybe I'll grab that little Zonite piece now. Okay, grabbing this. Hello? Oh, I can actually just use this to strike some lightning on you. Okay, I didn't do as much as I hoped it would have. Hey! Hey! Why did it turn me around? I should absolutely be locked on to you. Yeah, okay, now it doesn't matter. Okay, yep. Oh, why did that not count? Why did that not count? All right, you know what? Jesus. All right, you know what, buddy? I'll just, I'm just gonna launch a bomb flower at you the old-fashioned way. Boom. Okay. Go ahead and inhale for me. Why is it turning me around? Stop! Hang on, that's so not cool. I am clearly facing toward him. I press ZL to get my shield out and it spins me around and I just full on get struck by it. That is so not cool, game. Give me my full restore, all right? I didn't want to have to do this. Let's go. See, now, now it's going, okay? Golly, man. Let's go. Go ahead and say ah for me. Okay, fine. I guess I just got to hit you in the eye. I can't aim, apparently. My bonus hearts are about to go. Oh my god! I, why is that happening? Every time I press ZL, it makes me face this direction. What, what's over here? Stop! Stop! What is happening? This is so not fair! I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but the game is just flat out saying no! I know how to beat this thing. I fought plenty of you. Now I've lost both my fairies. I already lost my bonus hearts from the full restore, and it's still messing me up. Good shot, Tulin. Oh my god, I know how to fight this thing. I've fought a dozen of these. That is so unfair. Why is it spinning me around? If anything, it should be locking onto these things on its back. It's not even saying like I'm fighting this enemy anymore. I can't even see its health bar. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. I don't know why it's not flinging me into the air anymore. Just because that would make things too easy, right? That would just make things far too easy. Boom. Go ahead and knock it out again. There's the health bar. Okay. So what, just two more of these? I can get it. Okay, boom. Might not get it on this one cycle, but I can at least get this one. Okay, I'll, I'll use it to last my soaring broadsword. Whatever. Okay. There we go. This is what I wanted. All right, now I can absolutely eliminate you with one more bomb flower. Thanks for going ah for me. All right, and that should do it. Yeah, and I lost both my fairies too. This is not the part where I thought I was gonna immediately lose both of my fairies. But whatever, it wouldn't be a Yo Schiller video without something going awry, right? Now you wanna lock onto its head? Now, when I'm like three seconds away from being done with this fight? Go, just go, all right? I'm so done with this. This game gave you so many cheap shots, you blue white frocks. Golly, I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and the game still was like, nah. Well, I'm just glad it's over. All right, I'm bummed that I lost all those hearts, but I can always cook more food and get more. All right, also there's like a little like crafting station here. Why, why would I need this? This, is, this area is so isolated from everything else. It seems kind of counterintuitive, but whatever. All right, let's get this light route and then let's make a quick detour toward the western part of central Hyrule and see if I can get whatever's over there. It won't be a light route, but it'll be something. Great, all that work to fill in that little circle. I also want to take this time to point out, since I went silent while I was filling in the light root there, that my throat hurts from shouting at that blue-white frocks. That's, that's ridiculous. I'm actually a little bitter about that, that I'm pressing ZL to guard, and the game intentionally turns me around, and therefore he's able to get a full hit on me and cause me to use up my fairies. That's, that's ridiculous. Whatever. All right, nothing else over here, though. Nothing else of major significance. I can finally remove this marker. That's fun. Yes, yeah, so if we want to craft stuff, I can. And what's on this side? So these will just be like more crafting areas. I feel like there's going to be like a treasure chest or something around here now. Because the, the, the map made it clear that there's something over here. 
That means there's gonna be a chasm entrance somewhere over here. And now that I have a general understanding that chasm entrances can just be like underneath the platform, I, I feel like it'll actually be more worth my time to go over to this shrine and then go and check out how to access this part of the map. Cause I'm gonna have to access this part of the map and find the chasm to get 100% completion in this game anyway. And this is a 100% walkthrough. So I'm gonna have to find this chasm at some point. May as well go ahead and do it now. All right, so I'll go ahead and wander the perimeter of this little island. I'll see where the chasm entrance is and then I'll drop down and then we'll find a whole lot of nothing cause there won't be a light route over here. And I guess I'm grateful that there's not a light route over here, but I, I kinda, I kinda don't like how it's misleading that there like is not a direct way into here. Whatever, okay, we're gonna head toward the blue mark. So the best way to go about getting toward this blue mark is to reach this higher point and then I guess I'll glide around and see if I can find a tiny little cave entrance underneath. And again, it should be a chasm and not a cave, so I won't need to find a bubble gem. And then once I find this chasm, I can dive on down, do a quick sweep, and then I'll go back to finding other actual light routes. Man, I gotta find more fairies too, that's a bummer. All right, so it'll be somewhere on this island. Let's see, if I had to guess, it probably will be on the other side. It probably will face toward well, either this central island here, or, I mean, there's a bridge here that I don't think I've marked it on my map just yet, so I can get this real quickly. There might even be another Korok seed underneath it. I will check in a moment. Let's see. Anything over here? So this is just Moat Bridge. Cool. All right, Korok seed underneath it, perhaps? Let's see. Yes, there is. Oh, it's like I found 900 of these in Breath of the Wild and like 200 in this game. There we go. Filling those out. Boom, baby. Thank you. All right, so I'm glad we got that. But it does not bring me closer toward a chasm entrance. So I'm gonna wander around the side here. Yeah, if there is a chasm entrance, I doubt it'll be immediately visible. I'm gonna have to go back over to Hyrule Castle and then look around, aren't I? But I'm not opposed to doing that. That's what I did to find that other chasm entrance. So perhaps the same will be applicable to here. But if there's gonna be a chasm entrance, it would be at a, uh, presumably be at a spot or there'd be a higher platform. Also, oh yeah, earlier I was talking about how I wanted to compliment the, the architecture and geography of this game. I like that I can just go over here and then presumably use Ascend. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Good design on the developers here. Even if it is just reused from Breath of the Wild, I still want to show my praise. I still want to compliment it. So thank you. All right. I gotta imagine there's a chasm entrance over here. It's probably on that rock or like underneath that rock. Something. I do have a boat over here that I could use. I might have to use the boat. Let me see. Yeah, and then there was a Korok sea that I got up there a long time ago. Oh, and there's a star fragment over there. I'm gonna have to pass on that star fragment for now, as tempting as it may be. Okay. All right, so let's... Let's leave this over here for a second. Okay, yeah, let's definitely leave it over here for a second. I do not wish to engage in combat with you folks. Thanks for the offer, but I'm going to decline. All right, I'm just going over here with the hopes that I can find a chasm entrance. Now it explains why there's so many like little docks. It's not just for Korok seeds. It's for going around in circles so that you can find a chasm. Isn't that swell? All right, now we're gonna go over here. Hey, there's a bunch of flint over here and arrows apparently. Cool, I'll take that. All right, and then over here, right? There's not gonna be a chasm entrance on this side that I never found. Hmm. I am not seeing anything immediately. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Right, is that a cave over there or something? No, that's just that's just an extruding platform. Okay, never mind. Got my hopes up thinking I'd find it immediately and then would be able to move on with my life, but alas, not to be the case. A bit of a shame that I can't just add a chasm to my shrine radar. It's not something that's registered in the Hyrule Compendium. So I'm pretty sure it's not. I can grab these though. What the heck, where did these come from? Okay, just extra Bokoblin parts. I guess a Bokoblin just like up and drowned all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. I'd like to climb out of here, please. Now, I'm still looking for that chasm entrance. It probably is on this side though. I guess I, I could use a boat right about now, but running around does seem to be faster and I can always just glide around and whatnot. Actually, yeah, I should glide over to the other side and then see if I can look at it from this direction. And I am gonna fuse this boulder to something. Rusty Claymore, sure. Boom, boulder. That's a nice boulder. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. 
I guess running along here will also potentially allow me to look for Korok seeds and other goodies like these fireflies. There you go. Got that one. Got that one. Did not get that one. That's okay. Two out of three ain't bad. Anything suspicious with this little tree here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I, I love playing this game on hard mode. Ready? Boom, baby. It is time for me to die. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right, I'm looking for a chasm entrance. I'm gonna... Oh, hang on. Wait. I saw what appears to be a Korok seed puzzle over here. I see a whole bunch of rocks. And sure, I've already gotten like 20 other Korok seeds in this video. Why not go ahead and just get this one while I'm at it? While I'm going around in circles anyway, huh? Go around in circles, completing circles. It's a circular part of this walkthrough, folks. All right, I'm taking this and I'm setting it there. Complete the circle. Boom. Korok seed, mine. Now I'll have 50 Korok seeds in my possession. That's pretty cool. All right, so I will go ahead and take this. Thank you, thank you. But now I still need to find the chasm entrance because now I am like fairly certain there's one over here. It might not be underneath. No, I, hang on. I do wanna, I do wanna smash these enemies real quickly. Boop. Get those amber pieces, thank you. And the flint, and the flint, okay. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be like underneath the island, but based on how it was with that other island, I feel pretty confident in saying that's how it's gonna be. Also, hang on, are these ducks? I already got a picture of the ducks. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad I did, but just gotta make sure I got pictures of everything, you know? I don't wanna have to pay Robbie too much money to complete the rest of the Hyrule Compendium because it seems inevitable that I'm gonna miss one or two things and then I'm gonna have to pay him for whatever I'm missing, but whatever I don't have to pay him for, the better. Let me see, is, it, like, is this anything? Can I lift this up and this does something for me? No. It does look kind of suspicious though, doesn't it? There's gotta be something. It's it, like, m maybe I do access it from the water. Actually, maybe I can see if there's a cave entrance over here. Let me see. Maybe there's not a cave, but a well. Let me let me go to the Hyrule Compendium and let me enable the bloopy. Is there anything? <gasps> there is one! Okay, so maybe, oh, well first, of course, there's another Korok seed here. Let me go ahead and get this real quickly. Okay, where's this gonna go? All the way over there, I can get that. Thanks to Tulin's aerial mobility boost, I can absolutely get over here in time. And then I can work my way backwards and use the bloopy radar to find it. Because the fact that that like blinked in the first place tells me that there is a cave over here and that cave might just get me what I need to find this chasm. I think my hypothesis may be correct, but for now, boom, extra Korok seed. Now I have over 50 Korok seeds in my possession right now. Okay, anyway, so. It blinked when I was like on top of this, right? Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, so there, are, there is a cave over here. Boy, am I glad that I have this with me. Look at that Hyrule Herb. Okay, that this way, but this way? This way. Oh, you better not be taking me off this island. You take me off this island, I'm gonna be a little upset. Doc on it. Are you really taking me off the island? You want me to go off of here? I don't think that's what I want. I don't think that's what I needed. I think you're messing me up. I think you're taking me to another cave I had no intention, <laughs> no expectation of finding. Cause you're, you're really, okay, Never mind. Maybe my hypothesis was wrong. There's gotta be a chasm, so, like if I go back around this way now, okay, then you know what then? We're gonna remove this for now. All right, there you go. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. We're gonna, we're gonna, I always forget like how to disable it here. Just set this back to a shrine of light. I know there's no shrine of light over here. I, I know, I know, I, I got it, okay? But I, what I don't understand is there's got to be a chasm here. But if it's not in a cave and it's not through the top, then I've got no idea where it is. Because frankly, I'm, well, okay, so hang on a second. Hang on a second. The moat bridge was here. Th there's this. But I feel like, if I look at the depths, I feel like it, well, I guess it could be like smack dab in the middle. Why do I feel so inclined that it's like having to do with this rock though? Right, like there's so much suspicious activity over here. Right, there's not a cave entrance over here. If there was, a bloopy would be over here, right? The dog got, wait, yes there freaking is! But it's just a chasm, it's not a cave, right? That's why the bloopy radar doesn't bring me here. All right, I went around here like 10 times. I guess my suspicions about it being on this side were correct. All right, I found the chasm then. whoop de friggin do is it, is it gonna be bright over here? It is, because I got that other light route so long ago. All right. Uh, where do I want to go? Because I don't know that there's a whole lot over here. I guess I'll traverse my way through here just to do a quick sweep like I keep saying. Yes, yes, another Frox. I don't feel the need to fight you. I'm going to skip on you for now. 
Because fighting you, like, I can get Frox parts, but I don't need to grind for that, at least not this second. Let me see if there's a treasure chest nearby, because then that'll make it all worth it. Here. Let's see. Treasure chest. Anything over here? Nope. This really is just for a Frox battle, huh? And some of those that I can't even pick up in time. Okay. Well. Yeah, no, no, no treasure chest. I don't want to fight the Frox. Really, that's all that's over here is a Frox battle, huh? Well, I, I found the chasm. That's what I had to do for 100% completion. There's otherwise no mines, no treasure chest, no secret collectible over here. Couple of Poe's. Yeah, that's that's nice, I suppose. Right, you're just like another one. Otherwise, you're just... Oh, hang on. Just a blue-white Frox, right? You're not some other type of Frox I haven't seen before? Yeah, okay. So we're going to skip on that. I can get this Halberd, I, I, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's weird that there's no light root over here. It's weird that there's not much. Oh, hang on. Something I haven't taken a photo before? Oh, a Knight's Halberd. Okay, that makes coming over here a little more worth it. Boom. One less photo that I have to buy from Robbie. All right. I'll pick that up. Boom. Nice durability, and I can actually carry it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is making it worth it. And then what, what's the deal with this? Some sort of boomerang, it looks like? Let's see, what's this? Boomerang that I think I already have a photo of? I do, I don't need a boomerang, but I have enough inventory space to carry it, so whatever. And then what's the deal with this? There's like an upper lip here. Was oh, that the way I came in? That's the way I came in, isn't it? All right, so that's, no, this is not the way I came in. Well then what could possibly be over here? Hmm. No, wait, no, this is the way I came in. No, it's not. The way I came in is through the chasm entrance. Sorry, I keep thinking the blue mark is the way I came in. That's just a random marker I set over here. Okay. Well then what's the, what, what is the purpose of this? Why would I want to craft something over here? Treasure radar is not going off. There are some more pose. There's a weapon over here. Okay, what weapon might this be then? Something I've already obtained. Knight's broadsword. I'll, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. Traveler's claymore. I, I, you know what? I don't need the boomerang. I don't need the boomerang. I'll take the knight's broadsword. There we go. Cool. All right. That's it otherwise, huh? I came all the way down here for a picture of a halberd. I... okay. Yeah, there's no light route or anything. Maybe there is completion criteria for defeating every white-blue frocks in the game. And if that's the case, then yeah, I'll come back here one day to go ahead and eliminate it. It just won't be in this part. Hmm. What a weird area. I had to find it in order to get 100% completion on the map. But there's, there's otherwise, like, no reason to come over here. I guess it's just to throw you off when you actually are trying to find all the light routes and, like, this part probably still in shadow and you're like, oh, there's a light route over here. No, I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Well, this part of the map's getting filled in. Uh, rather than ending it on something anticlimactic, if we want to go over here and maybe do the light route. Hmm, yeah, the light route for Kakariko Village. So, like, there. Yeah, I can warp over here real quickly. And then that will set me up for future Kakariko Village stuff, maybe. Maybe, just maybe, I'll do more Kakariko Village plot stuff in the next part of this walkthrough. Yeah, after I go ahead and do some more light route stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get my 94th light route. All right, I'm, I'm, that's just what I've decided to do is get this light route and switch back over to my Master Sword right now. Here we go. And then I guess I could always go ahead and conclude the part by seeing if I can upgrade any more of my armor. That sounds useful. Yeah. For now, we are gliding on over. I'm gonna glide for as long as I think I can because it will be the most efficient method of traveling. It's decently fast. If I spam that A button, I can go ahead and hopefully get another gust of wind on frame one. Oh, I see a tiny blink of light up ahead. Is that another Yiga Clan hideout? It might be. Oh, whoa, hang on. We got a corrupted Talus here. Okay, you know what? I, I might not fight a Frox, but I'll fight you. There you go. Stone Talus rare. I guess there is a difference. Whatever. One more photo for my collection. Thank you. All right, so usually I can like blast you open. I can blast you down. No, oh, okay. Well, you like blinked gray for a second. I can't see where your little weak point is. So fighting you is actually slightly trickier for that reason alone. But if I do this, I can go in slow motion. There it is. Oh, cause you have a rare ore deposit on you. Well, I like that. I'll knock you down. Thank you. Okay, I don't care if I get a little corrupted from the gloom. Let's see, and then I got I guess I can just go ahead and use this. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. 
Boom. It's gonna wail on you. Yeah, let's get that rare ore deposit smashed off of you, huh? Get me some more gemstones that I can then use to sell for rupees that I can then use to actually buy other items and upgrade my armor more efficiently. All right. Nope, it, it always spins me around. There you go. Just need one good shot. One good shot. One good shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, at least you're corrupting the hearts. You're not actually like damaging the ones I have remaining. I don't want to have to use a key eyeball on you though. Oh my god, I might have to. I'm wasting all those arrows that I got in this part. Okay, I'm gliding over. Great. I should be able to eliminate you from here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and then I'm gonna look forward to picking up all the remains afterward. Cool. All right. Well, this has been a part where I just got a bunch of Korok seeds, got a couple of extra photos, and fought a Talus and a Frox, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. Glad I got some Topaz in there, and I think an Opal was in there too. Awesome. And then I have that Knight's Broadsword, the nice sparkly one. If I fuse this, oh, this will be plenty powerful. Look at that. A rare stone Talus heart. That is nice. All right, and I see the light root up ahead. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of those. Thank you. Right, and I thought I saw like another one on my way over here, but that could be the one that I already did. I don't know. Let's just focus on the one light route that I have marked, and then I can go ahead and see what that glowing area is all about. There's a part of me that wants to see what that glowing area is all about now. That could just be a place where I cash in my crystallized charges. And if that's the case, I could swing by there right afterward too. But first, the light route. Let's see if I can get it without throwing down a bright bloom seed. All right. Oh, well, that slight glow is actually all I need. Yep, go ahead and corrupt those hearts. I don't, I don't really care anymore. I'm about to do, I'm about to undo all that corruption in just a moment. Here we go. Okay, we climb the wall. Boom. And one last light route in this video to cap us off. The Arusakam light route. Very good, very good. There we are. So, five light roots done in this video. Probably not comparable to the progress I made in the last two videos, but I figured it was only a matter of time before I started slowing down anyway. All right, so I guess I'm gonna head south in just a moment. That's probably what the glowing light was, right? We'll see what that's all about. Yeah, go ahead and restore those hearts. And then I can go ahead and do a little bit of armor upgrading, huh? So I guess we want this. Oh, and there was a chasm entrance that I came down all that time ago, right? Right, because we're in Kakariko Village now, okay. So let's go to the red mark real briefly. Guess I gotta climb out of here because this light route is unfortunately lower down, but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. That's why I got plenty of stamina. Here we go. And it on up. Boom, boom, a little more. Okay, and yep, that is what the glowing area was. Okay, so I mean, hey, if you want me to cash in more of my crystallized charges, I am not opposed. Okay, have I not been over here before? This is like, one, oh, abandoned Kakariko mine. Hmm. Lots of pose over here. But I didn't fight like Master Kogo over here or anything. That's interesting, okay. Well, for now, let's head over here. And hello, if I engage with this, I should then be able to exchange my crystallized charges with you, authorized or verified. Yes, hello. The back of my head is clipping through my shield. Welcome, I am a forge construct. I process zonite here into other materials, okay? All right, so boom, 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 boom. All right, so you process the zonite into other materials. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I don't need more. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I thought you took the crystallized charges from me. Never mind. But I could use some more zonite charges. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take a couple of those. So I can take five of those. I'll take all of them. Thank you. It's a deal. Thank you. Okay, and I can take a couple of smaller ones. I'll take. I'll take six of these, that just sounds right. There you go, boom, baby. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need more of these. I've already got a thousand. I th think I'm fine. I'll leave that alone for now. All right, so the treasure chest is gonna be inside this. 
Do I have to fight Master Kogo or something? Like, I already, I already fought him, though. I don't know, I don't know what's going on over here. But I'm gonna find out. I guess I gotta go up top. So let's go up for a moment. So I'm mashing that A button. Oh wait, no, the treasure chest was right under, was right there in front of me, wasn't it? Still, let's go up top for a second, just see what's around here. See, there's more pose. I could have missed this pose if I didn't go up here. You know how it is. All right. Well, cool. So what's inside of this then? This is a large crystallized chart. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't buy any then. Okay. I don't know if there's too much else for me to do around here. Now that Master Koga has been eliminated and all that. I can smash this open and maybe get some arrows. Or bright bloom seeds or more bananas. I, I do not need more bananas. I mean, maybe I need them to upgrade the Yiga armor. Oh, I, I got an arrow. Okay. That's nice. And we got this. I guess this would be the Yiga Clan's garage or outdoor parking lot. Oh, what is this silly looking machine? Oh. I kind of like this, but not, not right now. Especially if it's going to use up my Zonite. The remainder of my Zonite charge right now. All right, well... It's an interesting little area that I'm surprised doesn't serve more of a plot purpose. I mean, maybe there's lore related reasons that it's here, but for now, I don't think there's much of a reason for me to stay in the depths. I think I do want to return to the surface and I think I will stop by Kakarika village real quickly so that I may sell some of my stuff, get some rupees, buy some arrows, and then have hopefully excess rupees that I can then use to go to the Great Fairy Fountain so that I can then use to go ahead and upgrade my armor. And that hopefully I'll just have enough rupees afterwards to not have to keep selling all of my gemstones. But yeah, what a weird little place for the depths. I, I guess I had to go to it at some point. Otherwise, I suppose I can call that area of the depths cozy? I don't know, I guess if I need to buy more stuff, I can just go over there. For now, let's go ahead and get some rupees. And then I can go ahead and go over to a great fairy fountain and upgrade my stuff. There's a treasure chest nearby, which reminds me, I do need to go ahead and set my sensor back to a Shrine of Light. Okay, let's go ahead and head inside here. Hello. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want all these arrows. I'll just take the one bundle, right? I'm supposed to sell stuff to you first before I go about buying anything. Okay, so, hello. All right, all right, all right, I'm your only customer. Well, goodbye. I thought I could sell stuff to you. I guess I gotta go across, gotta go across the street and sell my stuff over there. That's my B. I'm glad I could get some arrows from you real quickly though. All right, I gotta go inside the carrot store. Here we go. Hello. Hi. I'm here to sell stuff. I want to sell. Uh -huh. All right, so what I need to sell, or what I should sell, hang on, I need to sell the gemstones. I, mean, I, I could sell some of my meals. That's worth a lot, huh? Wow, these are all worth a lot. Maybe I should start selling some food. Just to cook some meat. That's worth 70? Dang. I, I am gonna use this stuff in due time. So, all right, for now then, just something to keep in the back of my mind. For now, let's go ahead and sell you gemstones. That's gonna be the most efficient way to get through this. Hang on, I should sort it by type. That's why I was having a hard time finding stuff a couple seconds ago. All right, so let's see, we can sell, I'm gonna say like four of those. Okay, there we go. So we have six, and then we can sell a couple of opal. So I'm gonna sell 11 of those. Very good. All right. And I'm gonna sell a couple of Moblin Guts, okay? We're gonna sell four of those. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna sell a couple of Horriblin Guts. Now that I know that I can go back to Hyrule Castle and just have a hallway of those, I feel pretty comfortable selling six of those. All right, hopefully I won't need too many of those to upgrade my armor stuff. I got over a thousand rupees, okay. Very good. Gleok Guts, no, hang on to those. Maybe I can sell like one or two more gemstones. Maybe one, I'll sell one one more of each, okay? So one more ruby. Okay, one more sapphire. There we are. And one more topaz. There we go, boom. Much better, okay. So that's all done. We got five of each, including the diamonds. We should be good for a bit. So I'm, I'm done with that. I don't think I need to buy any of these. I'm not stressing. Got eggs, I got carrots. I do want to buy some arrows. I'll, I will buy the Arakuda eyeballs. I've been using those. I don't think I need the wings. If I need them to upgrade, you know, pieces of equipment, then I'll come back and buy them. But otherwise, I just, I need all your arrows. Yep, give me all those, thank you. Okay, I'll take all of these, thank you. Great, awesome. All right, and now we go ahead and awkwardly warp out of your store over to a great fairy fountain. I think for the time being, the most efficient one to access, probably just be this one. So I'll warp over here. 
And let's see what I can upgrade. Just, just, just to see. Since I have a little bit of extra time in this part and it'll benefit me to upgrade my armor now so I can be more defensive and therefore more versatile for future parts of this walkthrough. All right, let's see. By tilting the switch, you can aim your stuff. Yep, I do play with the gyro controls on. It's just what I've grown to appreciate. I play Splatoon the same way. Very good. Yeah, gyro controls, man. Nintendo really changed that stuff. But that's a conversation for another time. Let's see, I need to, why can't I like remember which direction to go in over there? Right, it's that. Okay, I I don't know why I was like tripping about that. You know, what? I, I will. Do, I am gonna try to upgrade some of my stuff, but then I think I will spend the night at one of those stables just to. I'll go back to Kakariko Village and I'll spend the night there. All right, so I'm zigzagging. I'm zigzagging. Oh, I'm gonna be at the Great Fairy Fountain just in time for the rain. How awful! All right, well let's see what I can upgrade just real quickly. So hello, I am here. I am Link. I went a little too far into the fountain. Hopefully you don't like think I'm being disrespectful. I'm I'm ready to talk to one of you. There you go. Come on out if you could please. Ah! Oh, welcome back, boy. Do you want me to enhance your clothing with the power bowl of? Okay, let's enhance away. So I'm probably not gonna enhance any amiibo armor. Hang on. What is what is going on with my controller? I'm not. I am not pressing down. Stop. I I. I what is happening? I, I, I don't know why that just happened. Everything else is fine. I was fine up until this point. I, I don't know why that happened. Okay, if it does that again, I'm gonna have to switch controllers real quickly, just to, just to end this video. All right, so let's enhance away. Okay, now I can go up. Don't know what that was all about. Okay, so I can't upgrade these to any of the Zolfos parts. How unfortunate. Can I upgrade these? Oh, I need silver Bacoblin horns that I've been using those. Doggone it. Well, I can at least upgrade my Hylian trousers. I can upgrade my pants because I have enough amber to do so now. So go on ahead. <laughs> All right. I imagine I won't be able to upgrade that to the maximum until I get more silver Bacoblin parts. Darn it, I actually have to save onto those now. I keep fusing those. I could have had it in this very part too. But oh well. Let's see. Can I just do the soldier's greaves? Let's see what I need for this. If I can get this all the way, I'll just do it right now. All right, let's see what we got. So that's just simple. That just need a choo-choo jelly and just like, what was that, Bacoblin parts? That's easy enough. If I can get it all the way, I will, I will gladly just do it right now. All right, let's see. Soldier's greaves up to seven. Great, yes, done, I hope you like it. Do you want me to enhance? Yes, please, let's see what else we need. Okay, Keese eyeballs and Moblin guts, go right ahead. Glad I have a couple extra Keese eyeballs. I got some of those in this very part. Although I guess even if I didn't get those extra Keese eyeballs in this part, I would have still had enough. But I, I know I'll need more for other armor parts in the future, so I, I do want to hang on to at least a couple of them. Things are gonna be so much easier once everything's level four and everything just needs gemstones. Okay. Ah, oh, see, now I need the Zolfos parts. Yeah, the Zolfos are proving to be the bane of my existence. Let's see, to climb stuff, Swift Violets. Yeah, that's a bummer. Electric Key Swings, we'll hang on to those. Okay, so I needed Aracuda Eyeballs, which I can go and buy. And then for this, this is already enhanced to the maximum, okay. You just need Ice Fruit for that. The Yigas need Octorok stuff, okay. And then, I'd like to do anything that requires a diamond right now, but whatever. Champion's leathers, mm, can't enhance those. Okay, and then no no amiibo armor. Not right now. Let's see, Zonite shin guards, huh? This Zonite armor is interesting. Also, if I enhance this to the maximum, can I get like a bigger glow? I kinda wanna do this real quickly, let me see. I can get this to the max, I can get, okay, hang on. So let's get this going. All right, let's get that knocked out. And then my little, uh, gloom resistant armor. I might just do that next and just get that maxed out. So there you go. Boom. Getting that. Thank you. And that way that's that's less, you know, the more, the sooner stuff is at four stars here, the better. Okay. So there's my miner's mask. All right. Enhance away. What do we need for the maximum of that? I could do it now. I needed diamonds for it. I could do it now. I, mm, but I need more rupees. Okay. Hang on. So let's go ahead. Let's do the tunic of the depths now then. Let's do this now. All right, 
Large Zonite Frox Guts. Yep, got plenty of those. I guess it was a good thing that I fought that Frox earlier. And a Blue White Frox Fang. Yep, a good thing that I fought that Frox indeed. So let's go ahead and get this. Boom, baby. Here we go. Go ahead and snatch me and pull me into those fairy depths. There you go. Very good, very good. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this for a little while. I mean, I'm, I'm, once I'm done with the light roots in the depths, I probably don't have much of a reason to keep wearing this, but it'll be nice to have. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's see. Yeah, and then everything else, it's just a matter of I don't have enough rupees. All right. So I think we'll be fine for now then. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could do the barbarian armor. Okay, I'll just do the barbarian armor real quickly too while I'm over here. Boom. That way, in case I ever want an attack boost for an upcoming mini boss, I'll have at least a little bit of a defense boost as well, all right? I got my mighty thistles. There you go. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. All right. There you go. I mean, if I can do it one more time, I'll do it, but otherwise I'll... Okay, oh, I need Lionel stuff for it? I guess that makes sense. All right, then you know what? We're done here. We are done. Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. All right, so I gotta fight a bunch of Lizalfos. I do still need to hang on to gemstones. I, I get it, I get it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the stable real quickly. In fact, would it be faster if I just warped? I mean, I can warp. Whatever, I'll just run, I'll run over here, it's fine. And then I'll come back after I've sold some stuff. I might buy some stuff from Beetle real quickly. And then I'll run back over here and I'll upgrade my uh, miner's mask just to the maximum real quickly while I have, because it needs diamonds, I have some on hand. So the sooner I upgrade everything that requires diamonds, the better, which is easier said than done because I know a lot of the amiibo armor is gonna require diamonds and star fragments and stuff like that. So, all right, here we go. And I can smash these open, see if I get some arrows from them. Boom, 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 thank you. All right, and then a beetle is sitting inside. He might be, because it's raining. Beetle, are you in here? Yes, all right, so I wanna buy arrows from you. I'm gonna buy the arrows first, and then I'm gonna sell some stuff to you. Okay, so what have you got? All right, so I want all the arrows. Okay, I'll take them all. Thank you. And then I guess if I'm gonna be wearing the miner's mask soon, I can start selling bright bloom seeds to you. Right, I'll take them all, boom. I'm gonna have over 100 arrows. All right, that's a lot of arrows. Now let's see what I can sell to you. All right, look what I've got. So let's see, if I do... By type. Ooh, these are kind of valuable, huh? I'm, I haven't really been using these. I guess I can sell like 20 of those, right? That's an easy 200 rupees. Hope, I, I might need those to upgrade some armor parts in the future, but I'm feeling pretty okay about it now. All right, any extra mushrooms I don't really need? Probably not. I don't know if I need 69 ice fruits, but I do need at least a couple of them to upgrade stuff, so we'll hang on to that. All right. Don't want to sell the star fragments though. That that would be so easy just to immediately shoot over into 500 rupees. All right, uh, the flint. No, I said I would do the bright bloom seeds, right? Where are those? Where are my seeds? Right, these are all monster parts. These are all monster parts. No, oh wait, no, yeah, here we go. Giant bright bloom seed. Yeah, I don't need 478 of these. So let's go ahead and sell like 200 of those just real quickly, all right? There we go. And that ought to be good. All right, an extra 474 rupees. I would like to see if I can get over a thousand real quickly. I guess I can sell a couple of these too. They're, they're I only I don't have nearly as many, but here you go. All right, thank you. Take some of that. Thank you. Okay, I need to try and get 38 more rupees. Ah, uh, horribling claws. Sure, I'll sell some of those. Boom, 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 boom. 12 of those. All right, there. That should do it. All right, and then I'll head back over to the ferry and I'll upgrade like two more things real quick. All right, oh yeah, I said I'd spend the night real quickly. Quickly. Now I do have a sleepover ticket, so I can use that. All right, there we go. 20 rupees, we'll just, we'll do a regular bed. All right, and I've got my sleepover ticket, so I will use that. I don't need the pony points right now. Great, I do need to hang on to my rupees so I can actually go over to the ferry fountain. Okay, yeah, see I'm optimizing my gear. Awesome, okay, very good. Finally using those tickets to my advantage because I do need to hang on to the rupees. But in the future, I don't mind spending the rupees to get those pony points, like that's fine. But if all the upgrades of all the rewards for pony points going forward are that I can store more horses here, that's not very incentivizing to me because I've been using the same one horse over the course of this walkthrough. And I still have all the horses that I have for Breath of the Wild that I haven't really used. I might be more incentivized to use them after like 
I'm done finding all the light roots and all the shrines, and I then I don't really care. Then I can use whatever I want. I figure after I do all the light roots and all the shrines, I can be like, see, I got through the game, I navigated the map using only the stuff available given to me in Tears of the Kingdom with no other secondary enhancements. Like, yeah, I have the Mipha fabric for my glider, but I'm not really using the amiibo armor. Plus, you can get the amiibo armor from the depths anyway, but, but still, I think once I actually fill in the map, then I might start using, like, Epona. You know, I got that from my amiibo, so whatever. All right, in any case, here we go. Let's go ahead and check this out. So, uh, yes, now it's nice and bright. Hello, hello. All right, enhance that clothing. So, enhance away. All right, so I said I wanted to max out. Oh, I need more large zonite. Doggone it. After all that, no. <laughs> Just large zonite. I can get that real quickly. I know exactly where I can get it too. I can go back and fight that giant frox over to the left and get it real quickly. All right, BRB folks. I guess going back over to this area will prove to be useful after all. I'll be right back. I just need three pieces, right? Oh, I probably should have set like a little warp pad here. All right, do I have to do this right now? No, I'm definitely detouring by upgrading my armor at all, especially now that I'm like going out of the way to like get extra parts for some of that armor. But whatever, at least if I do it now, then I definitely don't have to focus on it later. Darn it, I really spent my large zonite on, on, oh, nope, I'm pressing X. I definitely spent my large zonite in this very part. I did not have to do that. I thought it would benefit me to get some more, more large zonite charges, and I'm sure it will. I can, I can smash those open too, here. I got some extra arrows, I'll use them. Okay, boom, extra zonite, but I need large zonite. I just need like two more pieces and I'm good to go. Hey, if you want to give me more than that, I won't complain. Okay, oh my God. Climbing this thing is always obnoxious. Why? Why won't it just let me climb it? Okay, here, right here. Nope, nope, I need this, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay, go ahead and fling me up, fling me up, fling me up, fling me up, Captain. Fling me up, Captain. Thank you, that's what I wanted. Boom, another one right into your gullet. There we go. And go ahead, boom, boom, boom. There you go. And then I can probably get both of these on this cycle. Oh my God, game, you're always locking onto things I don't want you to lock on. There you go, boom. Okay, that's done. I can get this, I can get this, I can get this. Darn it. Right, one more strike. Got it, all right, cool. All right, are any of these large zonite though? All right, and there, I guess this frocks being here proved to be useful after all. Plus I can get more frocks, guts or whatever, and fingernails and whatever, okay. So I don't think any of those were large zonite though, which is unfortunate. Perhaps if I smash these open, I'll have better luck. Let's see. See, I got that boulder hammer earlier in this part too. Yeah, there we go. There's a large zonite. Oh, I think I did get some more large zonite. Okay, so that's good. And I'll smash all these open anyway, because now I'm realizing I need zonite to upgrade pieces of my armor. So the more zonite I get now, the less zonite I have to hunt down in the future. All right, very good. Lots and lots of zonite. Okay, so that's done. Back up top, back over to here. Not back over to that. Back over to this. Start it. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have put the traveler's medallion here, but it doesn't make sense for me to keep the traveler's medallion here because it's not that far away from the shrine. I'm only really using this now, but okay. Let's see. So now I can upgrade this to the maximum. I have enough diamonds. I have enough large zonites and. I guess I do need some giant bright bloom seeds, so I guess I should hang on to a couple of those going forward as well, but all right. Like I said, once enough of these are four star, I can just start selling everything, getting rid of everything, but it'll be nice to have another piece of armor finally in the four star category. So there we go. That'll be a good way to close out this part. Kind of a weird part, just did a couple of light roots, found a bunch of Korok seeds and bought some froxes, but there you go. I also upgraded some of my inventory to the maximum. All right, anything else while I'm here? Anything quick? Anything, I mean, there are a couple of quick things. Uh, mm, nothing else I necessarily want to upgrade. Yeah, like these are the ones I'd want to do. But I need silver bacoblin horns. Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna be wearing this again, I just need moblin horns for these. All right, I think I'm fine for now then. Right, this is, oh, this is already at one star. Hmm. All right, real quickly then, I'll go ahead and do the climber's bandana as well. Just real quickly while I'm already over here, 
One less thing to worry about later, okay? I might even do the pants real quickly, but I don't think I'm gonna get both of these to the maximum. I'm not, I'm not going and getting another 500 rupees just to upgrade these right now, okay? But boom. Climber's bandana, great, cool. True, yeah, if you wear the whole set, you can get their true power, but I think they'd all have to be upgraded to the maximum. And now I need hot-footed frogs, and I used up my high tail lizards on the bandana. Okay, I think we're good for now then. All right, so, for the time being, I'm a bit aimless in my direction. I can go ahead and get rid of the red marker over here, like that no longer needs to be here, but otherwise, next time, I guess I'm just gonna find light roots in this general area, start working my way down from here, yeah. Maybe just to let myself know, I'll start working my way down from here. We'll save Kakariko Village for a little later. Let me wind through here. Yeah, yeah, and then there'll be a light route there. Just Let me just plan out this next part, and then there will absolutely be a light route here. If there's anything in between, like if there's a light route here or something, well, then that means there will be a shrine up here that I haven't done yet, and you better believe I'll get that next time. There probably is a shrine on these islands over here as well, but that's for next time. For now, that wraps up this part of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope that you'll all join me in the next part, but for now, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye bye humans! Whoosh!